Okay, we're going to find my life Milan. This all sh- What are we going to talk about today? Your team. <laughs> what are we doing today? We got questions. Yeah. Don't know if no they're going to get answered. Let's start. What do you want to do? Well, I have some drafts. I have some questions for you. Let's do both. Any In preference? Whichever order, whichever order you'd like. Well, I guess I can update the, the people at home and you at the same time. Say, I think guys that have been in basically every draft, every tinker. I mean, we know already Holland, Sokka, Bumo, Trent were already there. I think Gab is in basically every tinker at this point. I mean, he just yep. should should be in. It just yeah, feels really be. stupid to not be not have him. Yep. Rogers is in almost every draft. Yep, should be. Just still great. Still has like, what, Four, yeah, four fixtures where you're very happy to start them. Maybe five, depending on what you think of Spurs. And then uh, Greaves. I mean, legend, legend Greaves. Yeah. <laughs> like, Join let's me go. on Greaves. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's just like the 4-0. I'd so much rather have him than, you know, the Leicester guys or the Southampton guys. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to put up any... I have no questions or arguments about any of those names. So let's talk okay. about the spots that matter. Okay. Vis a vis the ones, good start. The, the non names. Yeah. Yeah. Good start. Yeah. Those that shall not be named. The Voldemort yeah. drafts. And Boomo. You didn't mention Boomo or you did? And Boomo. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. He's, okay. he's obviously in. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's hard to keep track. All right. Let's start with, I'm going to pull them up for you, but I guess I'll like read them out loud for those at home. Because we don't do video for these, right? So this is a little they get the back. So it's a uh, three big defenders: Trent, Kvard, and Gabriel with two four O's, Greaves and Akali. I don't, I don't even know if Akali's nailed. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, you know it. It has its ups. It has its downs. I mean, Holland. Just read it. Read it out. Read it out. Yeah, so I have Pickford and Virginia in there now. I'm not a hundred percent on Pickford, but I feel. Pretty fucking good with this combo. Um, him down to 4A, Branth back, their fixtures, whatever. Besides the point. Trent Kvart, Gabriel, and two four O's. Doesn't really matter who, because they're starting every week. Um, Sokka, Bumo. In this tinker, I have Bruno. That could easily be... I think the, that's a spot, and Kai's a spot, where you see sort of the variety between drafts. Like the Bruno spot in some drafts could be Palmer. And then, you know, I don't have Kai. Or the Bruno spot is like Diaz. And I put a little more money elsewhere. Because, well, yeah, I'll, let me just continue with the team. So Saka, Bruno, Bumo, Adama, Rogers. So five dual five ones there. And then it's Holland, Kai, Strand Larson, who's just like safest, I would say, at that price range to be start every week he's actually good and he has bad fixtures but he rotates okay and then he eventually he's very soon to have good fixtures so it's it's an interesting team i mean there's like five start every week attackers and then three rotating for the other two and you know obviously the three defenders i mean i guess well, yeah go talk ahead. to me about bruno yeah are you I mean, seeing him right now yeah, it's a, it's an interesting one because there's just this like wasteland, right? Between yep. sort of the premiums seven and down 10. to boomo ish, down yeah. to cheap guys. Five fives. Yep. And Bruno just kind of fills in that gap with like I'm not thrilled about him. I'm already like I was chatting with Liam actually earlier, and I was like, oh, "Do you guys have a prime time game this week? Because that means maybe I shouldn't get Bruno because I." I'm gonna have well, to he, watch him. He had a prime time game today. They just played. And they, they have prime time games every shit. week because they play on Thursday yeah. and they're gonna play the Sunday game every week. So it's terrible yeah. to own him because you have to watch him all the time. He has one return on the season, should probably have four. Um but he's also just like safe. Like if I'm able to hold my nerve, which I think that like I can, not maybe yeah. not everyone can, but I think that I can. He will eventually get some points. Yeah. Um, not thrilled about it. You know, talk to me in four weeks. Maybe yeah. I'm like ripping him out for a seven yeah. million guy or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. So my main thing here, like I get all of that's fair and safe yeah. because of historical, you know, yeah. experience with him, but like how is he better than Eze? Yeah. 
It, it's hard. It's hard to I make don't, the case. I, I can't make that case at all because I've thought about yeah. this a lot over the I last think, couple of weeks. Yeah, I think a lot of what you'll see with and like, again, I have, I have four drafts that I'm going to show you. A lot of players overlap and a lot of where the changes are is like this spot, Kai's spot and maybe one other attacker spot is kind of like where the money gets diddled around a bit. Um, Bruno's just in there because it's perfect money with this draft. And I think part of it is also that like inherent bias that we all have of like, let's just say a stick as a in here, right? I'm like sitting on 1.8 million or something. Cause you know, I have as yeah, but then you have Semenyo and DCL. You're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I make okay. changes. I definitely make changes, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. And I'm yeah. only, you know, I'll be benching a good pick every week with a good yeah. fixture. Um, yeah. 